Hello from the studios at Pasco Bravo University. Amusement parks in Colombia are what we call fairs or fair rides in the United States. A fair is a smaller version of what we consider an amusement park that usually includes small spinny rides like Ferris wheels or merry-go-rounds and maybe other little contest games set up in stands. An amusement park would include large roller coaster rides reaching up to the heights of 130 meters and going speeds up to 190 kilometers per hour. These amusement parks also include a giant Ferris wheel and merry-go-round, but is made up of mainly roller coasters, water rides, etc. An amusement park is usually stationary and is there all year round, but a fair is moving from city to city. There are lots of similarities between the rides, the junk food, and the little contests all around. For instance, for this reporter in the United States, my favorite amusement park food includes funnel cakes, elephant ears, popcorn, fried chicken, giant swirl lollipops, milkshakes, and more. Colombia has several theme parks where it offers an experience to share with friends, family, or celebrate special dates with something different. Some of them are Satre Magico, located in Bogota, has attractions for children and families. They also have restaurants and many games in each of those areas. Parque Norte is located in Medellin, and its distribution is by squares. Each one has a specific name according to the games that are there. These are Adventure Square, Fantasy Square, Expedition Square, Extreme Square, and more. Apart from amusement parks, Colombia has also parks where you can enjoy the sun, pool, and family. Some parks like Confama, Juan Pablo II, and more are located in Medellin. It has games within these areas for all ages. These places are especially for sharing with your family or friends. In addition to the previous parks, thematic ones included, you can also find Hacienda Napoles, Parque del Café, Gondaba, Playa Juancal, Parque Jaime, Duque, and many more. I am Hannah, and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.